Lawmakers are asking the courts to take another look at what they believe to be key evidence in the case of death row inmate Philip Hancock. Hancock is scheduled to be executed next month for a 2001 double homicide. Our Capitol reporter Haley Wager details new evidence presented today. A new request in a 20-year-old death row case. The board should recommend clemency and Governor Stitt should commute Phil Hancock's death sentence. Philip Hancock was sentenced to death for the 2001 murders of Robert Jett and James Lynch. But he's argued he acted in self-defense. Jett was armed with a handgun and two knives and was high on methamphetamine. Jed attacked Hancock with a metal bar and ordered him to get in a locked cage. Representatives Kevin McDougal and J.J. Humphrey say Hancock isn't deserving of the state's harshest punishment. When I think about the death penalty, I think about heinous, heinous crimes that are premeditated. He was fighting for his life and he took the lives of the others. New evidence presented by Hancock's lawyer, Sean Nolan, includes a statement from Hancock's trial lawyer saying he struggled with drugs and alcohol during the trial, saying, I am embarrassed by the job I did on this case. Along with declaration from Hancock's girlfriend at the time of the murders, she admitted she impulsively asked Bob if she could pay him a few hundred dollars to get Phil off my back. This is evidence that the jury did not hear. If the jury had heard that evidence, there's no chance they would have sentenced him to death. The foreperson has also submitted a new statement saying, I have now learned about new information that came to light about this case. Going on to say, could I have changed my mind? I don't know. Attorney General Gettner Drummond said in a statement, the evidence is clear that Hancock murdered Mr. Jett and James Lynch. Hancock has a clemency hearing scheduled for November 8th, and he's set to be executed on November 30th. At the Capitol, for Oklahoma's own, I'm Haley Wager.